Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Siren Red and you're watching Siren Red Tarot. And today you're, I'm coming back with another pick a car reading. Today's pick a car reading is going to be about um what makes you lit. I'm sorry, I done held the stone. I don't know what made me grab that stone, but we're going to see what makes you lit. So I'm going to give you a couple minutes to choose your piles. While I put my cookies in the oven, I should not be eating because it's fucking 9 o'clock at night. But I don't give a fuck because I'm going to get myself what I want. So I'm going to do that. While I'm doing that, you guys can pick the piles. See what we got here, babes. Okay. What makes my power number? One. What makes my power number? 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 And I want to get one for your looks. Okay, 
babies. So let's see what we got here. So we have what for what makes you lit? We have as personality. First, I'm gonna do your personality. Then I'm gonna do your looks, and I'm gonna give you some advice. So you have compassion. So what makes you lit is your compassion for others. So what I get from that is um, you are the type of person. Well, these people perceive you to be the type of person who is not a hater, right? You want to see everyone do their best, and you want to see everybody have the best. You want to see everybody look the best, feel the best. Um, yeah, look the best, feel the best, and have the best, right? And you feel like just because you, you feel like just because everyone else has the best uh, and is doing their best and looking their best and feeling their best doesn't mean that you're any less. So it's like you encourage because like some people have a sense of what I, I call false confidence, where they feel like. They want to be the best, but they can't be the best if everyone is their is their best too. If that makes sense, you have the mentality of like you know you understand that nobody can stop your shine anyway. So even if let's say tomorrow everyone became millionaires, right? And right now you know in this 3D world we use money and status to say who's better than who. You know what I'm saying? Well, the you know the sleep motherfucker do that shit. But anyway, right? You, a lot of people will start to be insecure because it's nothing that makes them special anymore. It's nothing that makes them stand out anymore. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I feel like the world is shifting from that anyway. But like some people just haven't caught up to the idea like nobody gives a fuck what you got. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But people still have that mentality like as long as I'm getting money, as long as I'm this, I'm that, I'm better than you, right? Um, but you on the other hand, you don't have that mentality. You know what I'm saying? You understand that money, materialistic things, or even the way you look is not something that makes you stand out. While, yes, you're probably fucking gorgeous, probably drop dead gorgeous or handsome or whatever, right? Um, that's just that's just added to that's just added to your magic that comes from within. Like that's just a plus. You're gonna say, like, that's not your whole being. You understand that nobody can dim your light, even if they are on the same perceived level of you. Like them being pretty and, and rich and you being pretty and rich, or you having a nice personality and them having a nice personality does not stop your shine. That's how you know when the confidence is real. When the confidence level stays the same no matter who enters the room, that's how you know is you really her or you really him, right? Then we have perspective. So what makes you is the fact that you're very much accepting of others. You're accepting of others. You're appreciative of other cultures and other cultures, other religions, other thought processes, other aesthetics, like just anything that's other than you. Like some people, okay, uh, I'll tell you my life to help y'all with yours, right? I was dating this guy, right? Well, I guess he was hanging out. I'm not going to say dating because he's embarrassing, but... I talked to him for three years, right? But like this last year, I've been really getting to know him and um, I found out like how he really feels about people who have disabilities and stuff. Like he really, he's one of those people who really think that people who have disabilities are less than because they have a disability, right? And I was shocked because I forgot that people actually think like that because in my mind, I don't see, I don't see a difference in people. I might see somebody who has like a feeling of disability, like, okay, they have a disability, but I don't see, I don't see them as less, especially since my mother has one. So I don't see them as less. I don't see them as unworthy. I don't see that. But there, there are people who really feel that way, right? And I say that to say is like, that's how you are. Like, you might be shocked hearing this now. Like, what do you mean? Like, you're more accepted than the average person. So you'll see somebody who has a disability or you'll see somebody who had, who dresses differently than everybody else in town or who acts differently than everybody in town or into different stuff. And you won't think less of them. You'll think, okay, that's just what that person is, is into. That's just who this person is. And you won't feel no type of way about it. It won't make you uncomfortable. You won't be confused about it. You'll, you're just very accepted about it because you have that earth energy earth angel energy about you you get what i'm saying like that's i feel like that's also another reason going back to the first car compassion others can't really dim your light because your 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 confidence and your light does not come from um the acceptance or what's the word i'm looking for um not acceptance but the um what's the word i'm looking for y'all um validation of others it comes from within it literally comes from how with how you feel about yourself and the way you feel about yourself is not altered by the way people feel about you if that makes sense so next you have maturity so with the maturity card what i'm seeing here is you're actually very much well-rounded so you're probably well well read well well read well spoken well as well educated y'all know i got speech impediment but like you're you're well you're around a well-rounded person so it's not like you know how some people are just like 
one track minded so if they're just luxury they're into luxury if they're just into art they're into art and they don't try to extend they don't try to extend their mind past anything else it's like this is all i know this is all i'm into so why even like dabble in the arts why even dabble into like the luxury community why even dabble into the finance community you have a little bit of everything and every you have a little bit of everything inside you so sometimes some days you might feel artsy some days you might feel dark some days you might feel like a naturalist like it just depends like you don't have a set of static you get I'm saying because you're so much you're always reading new things going new places trying new things like you don't you don't you don't feel like you have to be put in a category so it's like people can pick can really pick your brain for hours you can talk about numerous topics because you because you're open-minded next you have warmth so it's like what makes you lit is like people feel like you love the <laughs> people feel like you love the unlovable like they feel like you love the fucking unlovable so what i mean by that is this i feel like people what makes you lit is people feel like like you'll be the type of person that that accept like er, the person that everybody hates or the nerd in the room or whatever because you'll take the time to actually get to know them and understand them and see like yo like what's wrong with you are you okay like how do you feel about this like why do you feel this way like you take your time and you actually get to know people and you actually you actually get to know people and you actually get to you actually try it i guess because you are um, open-minded and you see things from other you see things from different perspectives and stuff like that and then at the end you're not all you're also not intimidated by others and stuff like that um and you know whatever others do doesn't affect you i feel like that's why you're more accept accepting so it's like it could be a bully in school that everybody hate or whatever or like some weird kid right that weird kid i'm not gonna say that that's i'm not gonna <laughs> but some weird somebody said, said no it was a school some one of my um spirit guys said something about a, if it was a school shooter you wouldn't get shot like some shit like that but like why would i you know what I'm they be they be on some funny shit sometimes though um uh, my younger ones anyway but anyways um what i was saying um what was i saying babe uh ha -ha. some of you guys might have been actually involved in something like that are you sure Let's come out of that. I don't even want to go into energy. But um, anyway, like I was saying, so it's like people feel like until they meet you, they feel like, oh, well, no one will ever love me. No one will ever accept me. No one, everyone thinks I'm weird. And they meet somebody like you. You're like, hey, what's up? <laughs> and you say, hey, what's up? And they're like, they're all confused and shit. Like they do love it, but they're confused. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it, it might take people a while to warm up to you because they're not used to someone being so warm, kind, loving, and bubbly. You get what I'm saying? And you know what's crazy? Um... Let me get your advice card while I'm talking. You know what's crazy? Um, when I started doing a lot of business in Philly, I was always wondering why people were so standoffish. I'm like, why are you so standoffish? And I tell you about my time to help y'all with y'all, right? Somebody said, I don't got to keep saying that. But you know how some people are. They're like, stop talking about this. I'm like, bitch, this is how I give you my examples. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to tell you. Like, but anyway, um, everyone was so cold and they were so surprised. And I'm like, why would I be mean to you? Like, I don't have no reason to be mean to you. I don't have no reason to try to snake you or nothing. I'm just trying to connect. You know what I'm saying? You were creative. I'm a creative. Let's connect. But I guess they're not used to people being so warm and bubbly. So it'll take people a while to um, warm up to me. They always say the same thing. Like, at first, I was wasn't really sure about you but after that they start they fuck with me after that you know what I'm saying? They're like oh i fuck with her like that's really her it's not like an act so it's like that's how that, that's how maybe with you it may take people a long time to warm up to you because they think that they they thinking they're looking at you and you're so amazing and you're you're beautiful you're smart you're handsome whatever some of you guys might be very uh financially stable or whatever you just look like an all around well-rounded person so they're thinking to themselves why would somebody who looks like this or has this or hangs out with these people want to care or really be genuinely talking to me you know what i'm saying but they don't understand that you're you're a you're a very humble person you know what i'm saying you don't feel like you're above nobody like ooh, i don't care what y'all saw that fucking uh if y'all seen me because the phone flip y'all seen me i do look less but i don't care because i have to get this video done. <laughs> and, the, and the camera fell down but we're gonna get this right together my bad y'all but next um i hear somebody gonna comment something about that i want to see what they're gonna say but anyway um because i don't want to say it on here because i want to see if they really gonna say what i what i hear they're gonna say what i hear them say about my camera phone up but anyway so what makes you look lit looks wise you guys have a really really um royal aesthetic look to you some of you guys might be leos or you might wear a lot of jewelry i'm getting scorpio pisces leo gemini aquarius and capricorn 
Aquarius. I know a few Aquarius. Aquarius is like, I always thought they were like, um, I always thought they was like, um, boring. But if you're Aquarius woman, like them, Aquarius women are very much out there. I didn't know they was out there and so like aesthetic, like, I don't know, just very like wild and free. I didn't know that. And I really like um, Aquarius women. So, Aquari if you're an Aquarius, I want you to know I love you. And your style is immaculate, sweetheart. Like, y'all be dressing your asses off. And y'all don't give a fuck what I think. But anyway, um, the King of Wands. So, with the King of Wands, you guys probably keep your hair really nice and polished. Probably wear a lot of jewelry. If you do makeup, you're really good at your makeup. You might have a different way of doing your makeup. But you just look really put together. But, like, and not in a way of, like, just how everyone else look. You'll actually take, you'll actually, um like let's say everyone is wearing biker shorts right that's the trend like yeah you might wear biker shorts but yours might be pink and everybody might be into black like that's like you put your you look aesthetically pleasing but you always put your so your um your personal touch on stuff even like you know with my guys and stuff like that some of you guys might work out uh, i'm seeing a lot of accessories a lot of jewelry these also could be crystals um you guys take care, take pride in your hair. I'm feeling mostly it's the hair and the jewelry and the way you accessorize and stuff like that. Um, you guys look really shiny. You guys look like some type of royalty. You might have been royalty in the past life. That's why you like into the jewelry and stuff like that. You guys are really wild and really free looking. Like you guys look like a um I would say it makes you lit. Like you guys look like a, a like a creature. Like some not like a creature, like um like an ugly creature, not like that, but like some type of fantasy creature. Like you just don't you just stand out in a crowd. Like you're not gonna walk in you're not gonna walk into a room and nobody's gonna look at you. That's just not going that's just not gonna happen, right? So yeah, so that's what I'm saying for your look. So let's see what your advice is. You simply have to put one foot in front of the other and keep going. I feel like you guys have just recently started opening up and you guys have just recently started um coming into this energy. I feel like you guys did a lot of healing work and and that's why you're able to love so much and that's why you're able to um, think your way through stuff and see other things from other perspectives i feel like you guys really worked hard on cultivating this energy and spirit wants you to know like it's great that you cultivated it and you might only share it with a few people but spirit wants you to share it with the world like it doesn't all have to happen overnight but maybe you're doing something on the internet or you need to start going to more networking events or you're maybe um, going to be starting a new job and spirit wants you to actually like talk to your co-workers or start dating again or whatever it means to you spirit wants you to know to get out there like get like it's good that you're already opening up your personality right but spirit wants you to be like that all the time they feel like it's a gift that you need to share with others it's, there are people in this world who need the type of love that you're willing to offer i'm not saying drain yourself but i'm saying like you know what i'm saying because energy is not always like you being in a relationship with somebody or loving somebody or fucking somebody energy could just be you a, a person feeling like they can have a conversation with you or you walking past like oh you look cute or whatever or actually sparking a conversation with somebody that nobody usually talks to giving that type of energy could give somebody a boost of confidence you get what i'm saying everybody on this earth has a job and I feel like that's yours. Your job is to show people that they are lovable. You get what I'm saying? And I know it's like, bitch, I shouldn't have a job. But listen, I don't know what what transpired in the spiritual world before we all got here, but we all agreed to this. <laughs> we all agreed to everything I know. That's why at this time, at this point in my life, I don't fight it. I don't fight it at all. Just gotta go with the flow, and you'll catch your blessings. Okay, so just. You know, but with that being said, that's your video. Power number one. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested in a person, you know, that information description box below. Please know that I am doing same day readings right now to October 31st, and they are $29.99. So if you're interested in that, that link is in the description box below. With that being said, I'm going to see what makes you lit power number two. These are my bosses. These are definitely my bosses. Definitely, definitely my fucking earth signs. Because earth signs don't take no shit. Earth signs are going to do what the fuck they want to do. And ain't nobody going to tell them what to do. Ain't nobody going to tell them how to do it. And everybody going to accept it. So these definitely got some earth signs in here. Earth sign energy. Um, definitely my leaders of the group. Definitely my idealists of the group. So, you sure? Okay, you sure? But it's three. Okay. Okay. 
I can only take that and just put the bottom, the, um, get one off the bottom of the deck. Okay, so what I'm saying here is this. So what makes you lit pile number two? You have the gentleness card, but like, listen, this is gonna get crazy, right? The gentle, this is why I like how I just started reading this because it's easier and it's like, it maps out the whole story. So it's faster, but anyway, gentleness. You come off as a very kind, pleasant, nice person, right? You do. Sometimes people can think that shit's sweet, right? And they can think that you're easy to take advantage of and they can think that, oh, your head is in the clouds or you're too trusting or you're naive. People think that because you, because like some people see it as, oh, this is a kind, gentle person. I, don't, I would never want to hurt this person. They're giant. They're, they're really a genuine, kind, gentle person, right? Others see that and they're like, man, I'm about to take advantage because they think they, they think she's sweet out here because they being nice and kind. So they see it as a weakness. So they see you as weak, right? Now, let's get into what's, what makes you lit, right? That makes you lit because you have a kind look about you, a kind aura about you, a nice, pleasant aura about you, right? But what you do is that is how you reel people in. You reel people in and you get to know them. So people come in with their, their defenses down. People come in with whatever, like, fucked up plan they had in their head or shit they trying to do to you or do to others around you. They, they don't hide it because they feel like you're so gullible, you're naive, you're so kind. Like, they feel like you cannot see right through them. Now, while they're doing all this, right, and they're looking at you like, oh, this person gullible. This person won't believe anything I tell them. This person, this person, that, right? While they do think that is the case, the whole time that you are interacting with this person, you are collecting data. You're letting them speak. You're letting them feel like they're dominant. You're letting them feel like you're they're, they're, you're letting them feel like you're overpowering them. They're, you're letting them feel like you're weak. You're letting them feel that way, right? But the the whole time that you're talking to this person, you're taking notes. You're thinking like, okay, that's how you really think. That's how you really trap. That's how you really treat people. That's how you treat yourself. That's what type of person you are. And then you go, some motherfuckers. <laughs> and then you go some motherfuckers, right? But let, before I get to that, let me go back to this. So with the engagement card, you're really good. What makes you late is you're really good at people reading. You think that you're not because you might find yourself in a whole bunch of like bullshit. But in reality, if you really think about yourself, like for those of, this is for you. Those of, This is for those of you who have this power. And you're like, how can I be a good reader when I'm always in toxic relationships or have a lot of toxic friends? So sit to the side on my other hill, folk. You know what I'm saying? Let me talk to these folk in this pile first. The reason why you find yourself in a lot of shit is because you keep giving people chances. Like, and your gut already told you, your mind already told you, your intuitiveness already told you. But you're like, no, man, this person can't. Because you want to see the good in people. So even though you know they're an asshole, you, you think you're like, okay, if I keep giving them a chance, maybe they'll meet to my standards. So by the time you do, by the time, time you figure out they're never going to change, you're exhausted and you just stop talking to motherfuckers. So that's why you got this power energy, right? Um, all of y'all got the power energy, but I'm saying for you specifically, for those of you specifically who said I do be in toxic relationships, I don't see how I could be so powerful or good at reading people, right? It's because you want to believe, but by the time that you figure out they're not going to change, you're in this other energy of power. That is the ghost and that is the silent cutoff. That is treating motherfuckers exactly how they're supposed to be treated. Even if they didn't, it was little about you, even if a motherfucker didn't do nothing to you, it you, if you see them do something, something, something to somebody else that shit, you start treating them accordingly. And you're like, you know what? Because I know it's only a matter of time. Or if you didn't need me or if you didn't like me, you would treat me like that. And I don't like that. So you look at, you not only look at how people treat you, but you look at how people treat themselves and treat people, how to treat others. That's why I say you're a good, you're a good, um people leader and then what you do you stand on your decision so once you make the decision be like okay okay fuck with no, you no more because you're not a good person or your energy off you stand on that and there's nobody who can it's nobody can move you it's unless you want to be moved nobody can move you nobody can change your mind nobody can make you feel no type of way about not doing not coming or not fucking with somebody or cutting somebody nobody can do that only person when you feel bad about something it's because you feel bad about something you are not a follower that's what makes you lit. You are not a follower. You only want things in your life that are going to provide growth. Things that you're only going to move forward with things that are going to make you bigger and better and stronger. You're not, you're, you're not, what makes you lit is you don't tolerate weakness. And being cruel, being evil is a fucking weakness. People want to get on these apps and they want to talk about how 
people want to get on these apps and they want to talk about how they was toxic and how they um how they go to this person and did this to that person how they're so mean and how rude but what they don't understand is you're scared you're scared to be vulnerable you're scared to let your guard down you're scared to be hurt and that's why you do all these toxic things and shit and try to make it seem like you're a stronger man listen future is a hurt motherfucker you get what I'm saying? everybody want to talk about how oh future i want to be future i want to why would you want to be future that nigga lonely and you know he's lonely because he still talk about all his exes in his songs if, I ha if you're truly happy i wouldn't even be worried about my ex you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he, he's, he's, you know, that man's not happy. He can have money and not, and not be happy. That's what people don't understand. All money does is take away your bills. And once you don't have, and once you take away your financial problems, that does not mean you're not going to have any more emotional problems. The issue is a lot of motherfuckers can't really focus on their emotional problems be, because they have financial problems. That's the truth of the matter. That's why y'all think people with money are not, can't get mad, can't get depressed or y'all confused why they kill themselves. Cause that, their, their rent is paid, but their fucking, like their heart is hurting. You know what I'm saying? And I feel, and I feel like you can see shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, listen, you think that you're strong, but you're weak and you, by you being weak is going to make me weak. And I don't want my energy around that energy. So you'll let them not fucking know. Like I gave you enough chances or I see who you really are. Everybody else might not can't see it, but I'm going to cut you off. I feel like for my power number two, you you also the type of person my, my I'm getting I don't know why my voice get a little shaky a little bit emotional but I feel this energy I like this I like this energy I feel like a lot of you I feel like what makes you lit is people be thinking you a loner or people be thinking that you just different but I feel like you're the per type of person and I feel like you are but I feel like you're the type of person like you don't care if everybody else likes somebody if their energy is off towards you if they don't resonate with you then you're not fucking with them you know what I'm saying? Regardless, the whole room could be fucking with them. But if you're not fucking with them, you're not fucking with them. But you're not also going to tell others not to fuck with them. You're just going to be like, I'm not fucking with them. So that's what makes you lit because nobody can make you do anything. You're going to do stuff that's based off you. Not, and you won't even care if, if, if everyone follows you or not. You know what I'm saying? So off of looks, you guys probably look very powerful, very intimidating. But like probably like a resting bitch face or something like that or you just might look a little bit intimidated until you smile you guys some of you guys might work out so have bigger arms and calves and stuff and muscles and stuff like that um so <laughs> some people think that you like like i don't know some people might think that you like a little bit witchy because you just look like outward like it's giving like out of this world like beauty like and you always look different it's like you don't really keep up one look like one day you might look like hypersexual the other day uh times you might look very like earthy and stuff like that some of you or some of you guys could have like wild hair like wild hair you always wear like big wild hair whether that be big and curly um blonde with like your natural waves in there and stuff like that you some of you guys might show a little bit of skin have could have a nice body or just be very comfortable in your body because really no such thing as a nice body but y'all know what i mean right stuff like that but like people know um you feel like you take what makes you late is you look you take care of yourself it looks you get it look like you get your hair done you do your skincare you go to the gym even if you don't you just look that way you give off that look you look very like it's giving like a mysterious like sexy type look to you whether you're a man or woman but you also look very put together but not in like a boy next door or girl next door type of way like a dark like fucking dracula like <laughs> ursula type way like real sexy and dark like you still look good but you just don't look like friendly you get what i'm saying overly friendly but you look you don't look but you you also don't look like i'm not gonna say you always because all right so this is what i'm trying to say it's like you kind of have that dark look about you or whatever some of you guys might be into the dark mark arts or the dark femininity or dark masculinity or whatever but at the same time, when you start talking and stuff, you come off very gentle. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you might have that that wretched, wretched bitch face or look very mean, but you come off very gentle. So people still try to take advantage of you, right? But then they figure out, oh, this motherfucker is powerful. You look powerful, but that because I think the thing about it is this. Because I feel like I gotta explain myself. The thing about it is this: people think you look how people think. You look how you act. But people don't know you act like this at first because people think that power is cruelty when power is the is kindness. Power is is acceptance. Power is knowing like you don't always have to be the lead. That's what true power is. That's why people are confused when you, you start talking and you're kind because they're like you look like you would be dominate. You would dominate everybody when really you are because this is a dominating personality is kind. King, the best kings and queens and rulers were kind. You know what I'm saying? They were kind. 
People who fucking cultivated evil, they might have been in power for a little bit, but in the end, they always lost. You get what I'm saying? Some of you guys look very mystical. You guys look very mystical and very magical as well, okay? So let's get you some advice, and then I'm going to close this reading. But I be, that be killing me because people be thinking like, they be thinking like, oh, I got to be cool to lead. Listen, you can get, people will do more for people they love than people they, they're scared of. Because people who, who are scared and they're back of, against the wall, we sure? Okay, but well, people who are scared and put and got their back up against the wall, they're only going to do but so much. Eventually, they're going to figure out. Eventually, they're going to figure out how to get out of that system, out of that place that they fear. You got what I'm saying? Whereas though, if you love someone, you you might you fuck around and die for somebody you love. You get what I'm saying? Because you feel like it's worth it. Because they make you feel good. They made your life easier. Because they made your life enjoyable. Whereas like hate when you're scared, it's like man, I just want to get out of here. You know what I'm saying? I want to get out of here. So. It's fight or flight. So eventually I'm going to have to either just die or I'm going to have to fight you because I don't want to be here no more. So that's what I'm saying with that. But y'all get where I'm going with that. So as your advice is well in the possibility. So keep getting, keep being pos keep being positive and knowing that you can do whatever you want to do and know that everyone that cannot come with you. So this, you getting rid of people and blocking people and becoming this energy is your energy that you know, like this person cannot come with you. All right. Everything is possible when you've got the nerve. So I feel like you guys have a lot of manifestations coming if you haven't had them coming already. And I feel like this energy always been here, but now it's like it's really a lot because you might feel like, oh, I'm meeting all these people and I'm, I'm having, making all these connections and shit, right? But at the same time, it's like these, as fast as they're coming, they're leaving. It's because you're even if you don't want to do it, your energy does it. Your energy's like, I just don't want to fuck with them. So you might find yourself becoming disinterested and, you know, ghosting people by accident and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? But it's like, your energy knows, like, this is not going to provide growth. You get what I'm saying? So you have to allow. You got a lot of opportunities and possibilities coming to you in your future if they're not already here. Okay? But with that being said, that is your reading pile number two. I hope it resonates. If it does, just let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you are interested in a person, meeting that information description box below if you're interested in my free reading giveaway all you do is leave a very hard in the comment section below and with that being said i'll see you guys in my next reading bye don't forget i am doing part 24 hour personal readings that information description box below i'll be doing them until august i will be doing them until october 31st so if you're interested in a personal reading that information description box below bye